Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will give a short intro on operation of distance relay in MATLAB Simulink. Well guys, if you want to purchase this file, then I will add link in description below. You can go and purchase this file. And guys, here you can see this is three phase transmission line. We all know that the distance relay is a type of protection relay most commonly used for transmission line protection. And the distance relay will measure the impedance from installation side okay to the fault location this is a fault location and operates if there is any changes in measured ratio of voltage and current guys here you can see there are two subsystem inside subsystem we are calculating ratio of voltage by current if there is any change in the ratio of voltage by current then the uh, circuit breaker will isolate the whole system guys here you can see it is a three phase fault here i am creating phase fault between phase A and ground you can also create fault between three phase okay it depends on you and here you can see I'm using three ideal switches and this is the constant when constant is zero means uh, the whole system is at normal condition when I put constant equal to one okay the ideal switches will operate and fault occurs okay this fault will occur then the relay will sense the fault inside subsystem there is a relay which will sense the fault and it will send signal to circuit breaker okay then circuit breaker will isolate the whole system here you can see this is circuit breaker one and here is another circuit breaker wait guys okay inside this system we are again calculating voltage by current ratio if there is any changes in voltage by current ratio then the relay will send signal to circuit breaker and it will isolate the system now let me run this model and i will also share with you voltage current values and i will also share with you waveforms all here you can see in this display you can see voltage current value and in this scope you can see waveforms of voltage and current now let me run this model guys you can see initially it is in normal condition okay when i put a constant equal to one at that time fault will occur okay currently there is no fault and you can see here current value that is two three four eight and here you can see the voltage value and this is the uh, relay value sorry it is a signal uh, that is passed to circuit breaker by relay initially it is one because in normal condition it will be one okay when fault occurs it will be zero now i will create fault okay that i will create fault between phase a and ground i will make this constant one and here you can see voltage current and signal sent by relay all are zero let me share with you waveforms guys it will take few seconds to load and it at the receiving side also the voltage current values are zero here you can see voltage is zero current is zero and relay signal is also zero well guys here you can see the value let me stop this simulation okay here you can see the waveform of voltage current both at the sending side and the receiving side guys here you can see okay during normal condition uh, there was current and uh, after when fault occurs the current will increase initially okay huge amount will uh, huge amount of current will flow then circuit breaker will isolate the old system 
and both voltage and current values will become zero okay in this waveform you can see this is how distance relay works distance relay it will measure the uh, impedance from installation side to the fault location and operates if there is any change in the ratio of measured voltage and current well if you want to purchase this file then i will add link in description below you can go and purchase this file thank you for watching this video have a nice day